Okay, so today I'm joined here by Frank Abruziz from Alpha Core, the winner of Tech Company of the Year Award. Congratulations, Frank. Well, thank you, Sarah. Really excited about it. Yes, absolutely. Well, I'm excited to hear more about it. But to start things off, do you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Sure. I've been in the IT industry for about 34 years now. President of Alpha Corp. And we actually just celebrated 27 years in February. Married to the lovely Carmela. And we have two beautiful daughters, Haley and Sid. And Alpha Core, our team's about 55 strong. And we service the Windsor S region and we provide uh, managed services, cybersecurity strategy, web development, digital marketing, a lot of really cool stuff in IT these days. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And how did you first get into tech, the tech industry to begin with? Well, I graduated from the University of Windsor with my BCom and there was an opportunity to sell in uh, retail. And back in uh, 88, it was uh, selling uh, home computers to families for their very first home computer. So quite a lot has changed over the years. Uh, no internet, no cell phones. So those were different times and challenging in different ways. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Well, and I mean, it's definitely come a long way. And do you want to tell us a little bit about how tech has really impacted your company? Absolutely. So let's talk about the uh, two years that we've been in the pandemic. Alpha Core, like everyone else, the Alpha Coreans had to pivot and go home. So we had to figure out how to send the majority of the team to uh, to work full time from home. Obviously, we always remoted in and we used our uh, virtual private networks of VPNs. So what we've done is uh, we sent the team home. We uh, sent the phones home. So it's kind of nice. The entire team. I'm in the office and uh, my partner's in the office and a couple other staff members. We would able to uh, just touch the extension and uh, reach them. So that's what we did initially, and we helped companies uh, react overnight and set up uh, their offices at home and make sure that things were safe and secure. The cybersecurity has been a big conversation with everything going on, many more attacks. Um, you know, a lot of people have the guard down when they went home. So those were things where our service tickets went up exponentially to, to help everyone with this uh, tough challenge of running everything safe, secure, keeping your data secure, accessing the data from home, whether it's um, at your company or whether it's in the cloud. So again, we, we've had the uh, depth of expertise with our team to be able to help everyone along the way. So that's kind of like what's happened in the last two years. And it looks like uh, there's no end in sight right now that we can see. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Well, it's great that, you know, you were able to make those pivots and transitions as well as help other businesses do the same. And that is what has led to Tech Company of the Year, which is a huge honor. And do you want to tell us a little bit about, you know, what winning this award means to you? So winning the award is important for the Alpha Koreans to really recognize their dedication, their commitment. And when we, when we uh, leaned on them from home, they were always there, always available. No one really took any time off. And they definitely went well beyond the call of duty. Many nights, many weekends, the holidays are always there. And we're always taking care of, uh, you know, businesses in our community and abroad. For them winning it, it's, it's, it's nice that our peers, um, and we tech a great organization that, by the way, AlphaCore is a co-founding member and I'm a past chair. So we're pretty excited about the organization and what Yvonne and the team has done. And to recognize our team for what we do, we're very grateful and uh, we are humbled. Our team works uh, hard, not just on the business side of it, but we also give back and care a lot about the community. So when we do our fund fundraisers, our, our drives and company events, we're always thinking about who can we help out in the community? and recognizing a well-rounded team that both, you know, is there for the business and there to support each other and the community is going to mean a lot to the team. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, congratulations again, because it definitely is, is such a huge honor and well-deserved. And, you know, in the tech space, there's a lot happening, like you said, this past two years. Are there any trends you see coming up in this industry? Well, we're going to continue to see um, a lot of automation, of course. So, Automating a, a lot of processes, uh, there's going to be the whole uh, autonomous vehicle, electronic vehicle, you know, that's going to be a lot of technology in that. We have uh, a lot of new companies that have started up in the last couple of years. So we're excited to see where they go in this digital world. 
and we're very excited to to be part of it to to be there for you know in the beginning and uh, to continue to see what happens it's exciting times for us i do joke that our industry changes hourly and i'm actually not too far off these days <laughs> so it's really exciting times we have a vibrant community and uh, you know very proud uh, to be windsor essex and we're very excited about uh, this recognition I have not told the team, so I think they'll be very excited when I do announce it to them. Yes, absolutely. Well, I'm excited to see all of that to come. And you mentioned there too, you know, beginning of tech. And so if there was someone who was looking to break into the tech industry, what sort of advice would you give to them? So if you're looking to break in, depends if you want to be a technician, you'd have to look at uh, the security aspect of it, as I mentioned earlier. If you like the development side of it, there's uh, a lot of digital marketing uh, even the, the digital photography and videography with YouTube channels, for example. So if somebody wants to get into the creative side of it, it doesn't have to be necessarily the traditional, really technical. Uh, the sales side of it, you know, I've worn the sales hat the, the, my entire career, and, and I, I love the sales, the marketing, going out and telling our story. But find a company where, where you really like the culture. What we uh, take pride in the Alpha Koreans is it's a very open door policy with the partners and uh, managers. We're approachable uh, internally to the team and with each other and with the clients alike. So we want to be there to help everyone. And we keep asking. Our, our, we used to have uh, weekly meetings. Now we're having uh, monthly uh, meetings with the entire team, asking what else can we do to help to help everyone. That's been a, a big part of it. You have to be happy where you are. I know today a lot of uh, career paths are going to work with multiple companies, and that's okay. But find that company where you know, you're really going to care about each other and find that culture where you're a good fit and you're making a difference. Mm -hmm, absolutely. I think that's a great piece of advice. And I, I definitely agree. I think finding that fit is so important. And um, I mean, AlphaCore has definitely been doing amazing and I can't wait to see everything that's to come. Do you have just any final thoughts on the award or in the tech industry in general? Well, with all the uh, chatter that's going on, I, I'd like to empower and challenge everyone to focus on spreading positive news. There's a lot of positive news, and that's what that's my uh, takeaway from this all. We're going to celebrate this just like we celebrated our anniversary. We love celebrating our milestone. So let, let's focus on the positive and really make a positive difference. With my volunteer hat, uh, many, many organizations I've been involved with, uh, you know, the university and the college specifically, listening to entrepreneurs, uh, students that are graduating, listening to their ideas on making a difference in the world. I think that's what we should be celebrating and applauding. The future looks really bright. Love the young talent that's coming up. So I'm really, really excited to be a part of this industry for such a long time. Mm -hmm.